Hi, I would like to talk about building a capacitor meter using Arduino. Okay, so let's say that we have a capacitor and we don't know what is the value of the capacitor and we would like to design a circuit using Arduino that can check the value of these capacitors or any capacitor. Okay, so for, for doing this we need to know uh, some basic formula which says the following Vc which is the voltage on the capacitor in any time is equal to V multiply by 1 minus E in exponent of minus T divided by RC Okay, so uh, this formula is telling us any time what will be the voltage on the capacitor. Now, uh, what uh, we can know from this formula uh, is how the capacitor is actually charging and discharging. So a capacitor curve of charging looks always like this. First it go up fast and then it reaches the maximum value. Uh, in this case it can be for example the VCC of the battery that is charging the capacitor. Okay, so this will be the voltage and this will be the voltage over the time. Now the RC is actually is the time constant. What is, what is the mean of this is how long uh, the capacitor will charge. So basically what we can say is that this is equal to tau. The name of the time constant, constant is tau. We can say that after 5 tau, the capacitor is charged almost to uh, the VCC. It's about 99% of VCC. And after 1 tau, the capacitor is charged till 63, about 63% of its voltage that it gets. Okay, so if we know these things, we can do the following in order to measure the capacitor uh, capacitor value. Okay, so what we can do if we know that the charge curve and discharge curve of a capacitor looks like this. This is the charge and this is the discharge of the capacitor. Okay, this is the charge. And this is the discharge. So we can use our formula and get out of it the capacitor value. This is what we want. So how we can do this? We can do this like this. This pin is the analog input of the Arduino. Okay? And we can put to the analog input some reference resistor. As we did in our resistor meter. So this will be a reference resistor. Which means a resistor that we know exactly its value. A fair resistor. Okay. And if we know the value, now we can connect to this point our capacitor. This is what we want to find that we don't know. And connect this pin to digital output of the Arduino. Why do we want to do this? 
we want to connect it like this because if you will apply to this pin high logic or in our case it is 5 volt then we will be on this side of the charging curve of the capacitor and if you will supply to the digital output of the Arduino instead of 5 volt we put it to low and we supply 0 volt so we will have the discharge curve of the capacitor ok so how this is actually helping us let's see so let's look again on our formula what do we know from this formula this number we know this is the logarithm base it's 2.7 something this is the resistor our reference resistor and we know it and this is the voltage that we will supply which can be in our case we said oh it will be 5 volt or if we are discharging it will be 0 volt okay and this is something that we will be measure in the analog input so this will be measured with our Arduino so basically uh, we also can set the time how do we set the time we can set it for example we will search for a specific uh, behavior in our charge and discharge what do you mean a specific behavior let's say this is our curve of charging and discharging so let's say for example this is just an example we will take 0 0.1 volt we will look for this value and also we will look for as I said 30 33% of the VCC now let's see what is what is 33% you can check it if we have 5 we just multiply it by 0.63 which is 1 tau and we will get 3.15 volt so in this point we will look for 3 point 15 volt okay so what we need to do basically is to charge the capacitor make sure it's crossing this point and when it is crossing this point we will put a timer and continue to see what is the analog voltage input when we will get to this value we will have this will be the first time and this will be the second time so our T in our case will be of course T2 minus T1 so we will have this T we will have this R we know this value we know what we are putting in here we will search for these two points and then we can get out our C from this formula okay okay so now I can tell you that actually we do not need to solve all this formula why we don't need to solve it because we know that R multiplied by C is equal to tau and this tau is actually the time from point of 0 to point of 3.15 volt okay so in our case the RC will be T2 minus T1 so from this we can now know what the capacitor is the capacitor will be T2 minus T1 divided by our reference resistor so there is no need 
to solve this uh, formula using the LAN, okay? Because it will be difficult to uh, create a mathematic LAN command using the Arduino. Although I guess it is possible, but this is the answer to our question. So what we need to do is just discharge a capacitor till it uh, get zero volt, okay? And then we will change the output for charging the capacitor. When we will get to a uh, 3.15 volt, we will measure that time that passed from the zero voltage till this voltage. When we get it, we will have the, the delta T, which is uh, T2, let's say, minus zero, and we will divide it by, by R, and then we have the capacitor. This is all uh, the process of doing it. There are other aspects about uh, which capacitor sizes, how long it will take to measure them, and what is the accuracy, which I will not cover in this lesson, but maybe in other lessons. Thank you very much.